play defense. Fast paced and quick strike offense. The other units, special as needed. Adds up to a conference road victory against a ranked opponent to start the season. Up next, home opener against the defending MAC champs. We discuss the game plan next. It's time for Nittany Game Week. Well, welcome into Nittany Game Week. I'm Todd Sadowski alongside Jay Paterno and Tom Bradley. Always nice to start with a win, even better when it's on the road against a conference opponent that happens to be ranked 12th in the country. Guys, your impressions of the victory, and then I want you to tell us what those kind of travel days are like after a big W to start the season. Well, let me tell you, you know, I heard from some people, that was kind of an ugly win. You know, wins are like babies. No matter how ugly they are, somebody loves them. And, you know, it's a win, and you got to be happy, and it was a gutty performance. Yeah, I thought it was great. You know, everybody always says, Winston Churchill says there's, there's different kinds of lies. There's lies, damn lies, and statistics. Does it matter? <laughs> they got the W. That's all that matters. You're going you're gonna to put in all this, oh, time of possession, this, that. Hey, did you come home with the win? That's all that matters. You and don't and you're on the record. You like to start on the road. And I like to start on the road, especially with a big win over a pretty good football team. Well, that gets him some mo. That is for sure. It's great to see a full roster available in front of a packed house. First game always creates questions, but it also provides some answers, and that's where we begin our opening drive. So how fast will the offense operate? How aggressive will the defense be to put pressure on the quarterback? How improved is the secondary? All legit questions, and the 60 minutes in Madison clear the windshield so we can see how the 2021 Nittany Lions want to play moving forward. Plenty of things you can point to that helps in the victory. Coach Franklin, crystal clear the Nittany Lions want to win the turnover battles. They had three critical takeaways against the Badgers and have more explosive plays. They definitely took their shots downfield with Jahan Dotson and Keandre Lambert-Smith. Had some other one-on-one -on -one balls thrown up to make something happen. Coach says winning those two categories translates to unequivocal success. A lot of people concerned about time of possession because the offense moves so fast. Even when it's clicking, the players say, eh, no worries. No, it's different, man. It, it definitely is different. I wasn't used to it today, you know, being on the field so much. Uh, you know, I told a couple of the guys, you know, we're going to have to do a lot more cardio this year because, uh, you know, Wisconsin is a team who doesn't run uh, hurry up. So when, we're, when we play a team who runs hurry up, um, you know, it definitely is going to be different. But, you know, just, you just got to do your cardio, man. Yeah, a lot of cardio for the D. Sounds like both defenses in a game with Penn State may be out of breath, guys. Well, you know, the thing about Wisconsin is they take their time between plays. So that runs the clock a little more. If they get some teams that play huddle up, it's going to be a lot more, lot more uh, pace to it. And they're going, to be, they're going to need to really be in shape. Yeah, it's just a different style of game. That's why you got to deal with Wisconsin. I mean, they led the country last year. It's nothing new. They averaged 36 uh, minutes a game of possession, and this time they got up to 42. But it, once again, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's the final score that counts. It doesn't always translate no, the points. They no. had issues with that last year. Up next, a very capable opponent in the home opener, Ball State, defending MAC champs. Tons of returning starters and a roster chock full of a relatively new term. You're talking about 21 starters uh, returning with uh, 16 super seniors. I think that's the fourth most in the country. Uh, 16 super seniors coming back from a MAC championship team. So it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Yeah, 21 starters returning means experience. 16 super seniors means experience and wisdom when it comes to college football guys. Six-year guys. They know the program yes, really well. Six-year guys. And when you look at the guys that are playing, there's 425 combined combined starts with these guys. That means the average guy lineup has started almost 20 games. That's a, that's a lot of experience. And, and again, this team has won eight games in a row and beaten two ranked teams in, the, in that stretch. Yeah, they also they played on the road at some tough places. They've been to Indiana. They've been to Notre Dame. They've been a couple places where the crowds get pretty hostile. They're piping in that crowd noise like it was Notre Dame to try and get ready. No matter who you play in a close game, you want the offense on the field to finish if you have the opportunity. After Jaquan Brisker's interception, the offense needed to decide how to play the final minutes. Here's how it plays out. Wisconsin has two timeouts, a little over two minutes to go. First down run. It burns a T.O. for the Badgers. Second down rollout. Safe pass to Noah Kane. He does a nice job to make sure he catches it and does not go out of bounds. Then on third and long, a real decision to make. They burn the clock, hoping for a first down run and boot it back to the Badgers. Jay, these are tough situations. What kind of approach do you like? 
in this kind of situation? Because this is a tough one. Well, let me tell you, the guy sitting next to me yeah, with late time. in the game would say, run the clock, the time. get the timeouts. And Wisconsin did him a favor on the fourth down. They took a timeout when really they could have kicked the field goal and had three timeouts left to burn it. So, I mean, you've got to get those first downs. And, you know, the pass was, you know, trying to do something different. But you got to get some yards. You got to pass for a gain of nothing. And really. low-scoring game. So they admit it. Look, I, th I think they wanted it in the defense's yeah. hands for this particular thing. And you have to, Tom, you have to look at how the game is playing out. Tom to make would those have been calls. screaming at me. You guys, we got. We don't want to go back <laughs> hey, on the field. Like, You're killing hey, me you right now. Get a first down, please. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's do the best play in football. Take a knee. That's the best play in football. <laughs> Now for our first scrap medal, based on an actual game, it goes to a new guy who makes an impact right away. Temple transfer Arnold Ebicady introduces himself to Wisconsin, Penn State fans, and to the entire Big Ten. My dad always tells me sometimes you gotta, whenever you make plays early, it kind of helps you settle down into the game. Now, you kind of, I feel like you get the bigger picture. You, you're able to see everything and everything slows down. So that's exactly what happened today. So that's a long way, you know, he was born in West Africa, over here, first game at Penn State, seven tackles, one sack, great block kick, which hasn't been talked about a lot. That changed a lot of things, too. Those three points off the board made a big difference how that game came to a close there. Uh, but, you know, he just had a great day, a lot of pressure on a quarterback, and you got to give him for the starting first time with the Lions, pretty good day. 